everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my Artsy Endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, guess what time it is? It's time for Explorations of Me for April. And what is our prompt today? Our prompt is... What does your inner critic look like? Hmm, interesting, huh? Um, use your imagination. Draw out your inner critic. And let's see what your inner critic looks like. Let's see. I think I might do a single page today. Ooh, that one's icky. It's all oil pastels. Um, mm -hmm, thinking here. Something will feel right, and I'll get it. Let's see. Dream big. That one. There was one back here. This one. Right here. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to draw our inner critic today. Um, I'm going to start out getting some paint put down. Now, the paint that I'm going to use are my new favorites. Uh, this is called the 12 Shades of Grey. It is by Jerry's Artorama. And it is, um, the paints are all different um, shades of grey. Okay, there's things like, uh, you know, a mid grey, violet grey, red grey, orange grey, blue grey, uh, brown grey, Payne's grey. So anyways, you get, the, you get the gist, right? So I am going to play with... The red gray and the pale gray and the yellow gray. Hmm. Should be interesting, right? So first thing I'm gonna do is get out a couple sponges, decide if I'm gonna use them. I want some palette knife here. Alright, so our inner critic. Unfortunately, we all have them. They're not very nice little critters, are they? I don't think they are. Um my inner critic is just not a nice, nice person. Nasty, nasty person. Person, why do I say it's a person? It's not a person. It's a monster. So yeah, everybody has a um, inner critic. And if you don't have one, I want you to tell me how you did that. Because, mm -mm, I don't know anybody that doesn't have an inner critic. And, you know, when we talk about critic, it's not, um, you know, just somebody that beats you down, but it's also somebody that tells you, ha, you can't do that. So, yeah, I guess that would be beating you down, huh? Just taking a little bit of that. I don't want a whole lot more. So, we're going to make our inner critic on this page. And uh, I have an idea what mine looks like. I've got a, just an idea in my mind of what I think mine looks like. So we are going to have to see if I can convey that on the page. Look at these colors. Aren't these colors fantastic? I love them. Let me a little bit more of this mid gray. No, oh, no, this is a pale gray. Sorry. I just love this color. All right. Time for me to dry this up, then we're going to start drawing, so I'll be right back. Alright, so what I did is I dried this up really well. Now I did hold it here so that we got a little bit of um, bubbles, which I thought was kind of cool, but anyways. Alright, so we're going to draw this lovely critic of mine. Let's see. Let's make him... Him. Why do I say him? I don't know. We're just going to make this thing a big old bumble here. And then we're going to make these here. Alright, we're going to make it here.
I'm basically just kind of laying out some type, type of a design here of what I think my inner critic looks like. Hmm. All right, let's take, um, first thing I'm going to do is this, this pencil that I just used. Where'd it go? Look for my water brush. There it is. All right, this pencil says it's a paper plastic, paper glass plastic and metal. It is a water soluble, soluble, <laughs> water soluble steel uh, stabilo um, uh, graphite pen okay or pencil I should say graphite pencil so what happens is when you add water to it the actual um, graphite will be water soluble so what that means is that um, it reacts with the water. Now I'm just doing a, just a quick um, run over the graphite. I'm not looking for it to be, this isn't like the um, black Stabilo all, this is more of a graphite. Had I done this without putting paint on the back, you would have seen a big difference, okay? But I did do it with the paint, which is fine. Now, I'm going to use my Payne's Gray because my inner critic is not he, he she, it. It is not um, a pretty person, a pretty monster. My inner critic is just a bad, bad, bad one. So I'm gonna use some of this Payne's Gray and I got way too much on my palette. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Pale Gray again. And let's throw in some of this blue-gray. No, that's cold gray. I want blue-gray. There it is, blue-gray. So we're going to put in a little bit of each of these. And what I'm going to do is start painting my inner critic. Now, we all know these inner critics just aren't nice, are they? They are not nice creatures. They're mean. They like to say things to us about us that are not true, um, which is just so wrong. So we're gonna we're gonna play with this inner critic today, and we're gonna make him make it a big guy. You're going to be like, oh my goodness, look at that. Yeah, this is my inner critic. A mean old soul. Isn't it hard not to give in to your inner critic and not listen to what they say? I mean, you know, doing things like this, it's like, why are you bothering to do art? You're not an artist, you know? And that's something that we're going to, I'm going to be putting on this page, is different things that my inner critic will say to me and I'm like, you know what? You need to be quiet because I'm enjoying what I'm doing. And sometimes it's very difficult to get past that inner critic and, um, you know, just tell them to hush up. It's very hard. Okay, now I'm going to use a little bit of this gray. The face is going to be a gray. Or I should say the head, not really a face, but the, the head. I'm using, this is a um, Simply Simons 3x8 angle shader. And what I did is, um, remember G the other day Gina was talking about how I cut down my bristles? I cut down my bristles. So I cut it down so that it can be a, um, just a better shader for me. I like it this way. So I use it better this way than the way it was. So I cut it down. Doesn't he look mean? He. I don't know why I keep saying he. All right, it's a he. Doesn't my inner critic look mean? 
can't really see them yet, but I think it looks mean. Love these colors. Oh my gosh. Absolutely love these colors to play with them and work with them. They are so fun. darkening up some of this area. So I'm going to go back in with the light gray. There's a couple arms here. There's one here. There's one here. Because you know it seems like every time you do something that dang inner critic gets gets their hands in it. And it's like really? Just leave me alone. I want to do this on my own. And they don't they don't like to leave you alone. So alright. Now the hands. I'm just gonna. And I'll use some black pen on this to kind of define things for you guys. Even though I know what I'm doing. <laughs> or I think I know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> He's pretty crazy looking, huh? I'm liking him. <laughs> I'm using that Payne's Gray to just kind of outline a little bit here. Blend it in. Okay, same. Oops, I got some of that. Hold on. Get some of that Payne's Gray again. Do it like an outline. Come on. All right, now I'm going to dry this up quite a bit. Let me just go back in here with the paint is gray a little bit. Yeah. Just having fun, just enjoying. Oops. What did I miss? It's not supposed to be there. So, my question is, what do you guys do to get rid of your inner critic? Sometimes, I just, honestly, I listen to it. And it's like, you know, those are really bad days. Those are just like, ugh, days when you listen to your inner critic. And then there's other days I'm like, you know what, I don't care what you say. I'm going to do what I enjoy doing. And if you don't like it, that's your problem, right? So, I mean, what else would we tell somebody, you know, if they told you you can't do something? I'd be like, and you believe in your heart you can. It's like, no, 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 no. I can do this. All right. So let me dry this paint up really good. Then I'm going to come in with some um, markers and pens, and we're going to outline some stuff, define some stuff. And then we're going to talk about how to get rid, rid of this guy, or I should say how I get rid of this guy. Um, and I'm going to tell you the mean things that this guy says to me. Alright, so I will be right back. Alright, so he's pretty well dry. Now, I am going to go in with my Sharpie and just straighten some things up here a little bit. I don't know what these things are, they just need to come out of his head. This looks like a crown, but trust me, it's not. You'll see that in a minute. Here's his hands. And they seem to 
like to get into everything. This is fun, just playing with him. Playing! You know, I don't have to be anything. I don't have to... You know, it doesn't have to be anything. I can do whatever I want with this guy. Right? So here he is. And he's happy because he's yelling at me. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on things that he says to me on here. So I'm going to do that in a little bit smaller pen. Oh, I got to move some crap. Move the crap. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm basically just writing writing stuff on here that um, my inner critic says to me. And I didn't do it underneath the paint because this is my inner critic and I want it to be like what he says. So um, that's why I'm doing it on top. You stink, artist, ha ha ha, you're not worth, you are worthless, um, you suck, <laughs> why bother? Um, give it up. Um, let's see. Well, I'm thinking of more things that my inner critic says to me. I want to play some more in some pain. So, alright. I don't like it when my painty thing doesn't move correctly. It makes me a little bit upset. So, anyways. We need to finish getting this guy put together. So, okay, we talked about what are we going to do about this inner critic. Ugh! Mine, um, honestly, if it starts in... I actually call a dear, dear friend of mine and say, hey, I need your help. I'm having a rough day. This is what's going on. And she's usually one that can talk to me and say, you know, it's okay. It's just your inner critic. Um, you know, don't let it get to you. You can do this. So, um, it, uh, you know, a big lesson. It's wonderful to have somebody on hand that you can rely on that will take you out of that place. So that's one of the things I do. And it's funny, he's got one arm down here and one arm up there. It's all right. Don't matter. Um, that's one of the things I do. Um, another thing I'll do is I will step back and say, okay, I'm not doing that right now. Whatever it is that this guy is yelling at me about and, you know, saying you shouldn't be doing that, depending on what it is, depending on if I have a deadline or I have a, you know, um, something that has to be done at that um, you know, certain time, then I will just step back and say, okay, you're right, I'm not touching it today, and then come back tomorrow, and usually the inner critic is sleeping. So another thing I do is journal. I love to journal. I am always writing. Um, I write daily, and I filled many, many journals that way, but I'll tell you, um, I got started several years ago, and it was so funny because when I first started journaling, I wouldn't write down exactly what I actually felt and thought. Let me tell you, that's changed. Now it all it all comes out. Whatever I'm feeling, thinking, um, it's all there. So, you know, anybody that reads my journals in the future when I'm gone, well, 
you're going to hear a lot of things. So have fun. Um, so anyways, that's the things I do with my inner critic. <laughs> He's funny. Um, it's not supposed to be funny. He's supposed to be mean looking. <laughs> He's mean looking to me. Um, let's see. So where is my... Hold on. I just saw a post from one of the girls that I met out in um, Phoenix, and she was talking about her desk space. Well, let me... Oh, there it is. I'm constantly losing stuff on my desk, and I don't understand how that's possible. So, anyways, um, this is my inner critic. And I think I will end up taking more time um, to write some things down. All right, but for right now, I don't want to do much more to him. Isn't he funny looking? He's mean. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this month. I would really love to see what your inner critic looks like. Um, don't forget to post, you know, a picture on my Artsy Endeavor page. Also, check out the links below. I've got three other artists working with me now. I've got Gina Ahrens, Ann Williamson, and Shemi Dixon. And they're all doing the prompt as well. So definitely check those out. I know I will. And whatever you do, have fun. That's what life's all about. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!